Hello and in this screencast for Apache Isis I want to show you our integration with JRevel uh, but running within Eclipse. So I'm going to use for the example the simple uh, application that we reverse engineer into the simple archetype and I'm here in the web app module and underneath this uh, ID Eclipse launch uh, folder we have some launch files and these are the files that Eclipse has that define uh, launch configurations um, and you can see we have one which is for JRebel. Now if you're going to do this yourself you're going to need to make a one change which is to just to specify the location of the plugin which you can download from GitHub. Um, in fact while I'm just thinking about it so there's the, the URL for, for GitHub and you can just download that and build it build the, the jar file and so if I just go to this last line here I'm going to copy this into notepad so we can look at it a bit more easily then this uh, line there specifies the location of the jar file I just mentioned otherwise everything else is, is set up and ready to go um, and so we can run the application so, do, 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 do. so run as jrebel and uh, we'll look at the console as well just to see the output yeah, I saw some stuff to do with jrebel kicking in there okay it's only a small application so it doesn't take a second to run um, and we can see that near the top we've got a little message here saying that uh, jrebel is going to be monitoring the classes from the DOM domain object model module which is exactly what we want so there's actually a file called rebel.xml that's already set up that, that's uh, being picked up there. Okay, so let's um, run the application. Let's go to our app, and uh, it's as I say, the very simple application that's just got a very simple object in here. Here, and um, so we can list some objects, and there's a few of them. Let's then make a change. So let's go and find that class, um, and. Uh, I've actually already prepared a change which is let's have a new property called name2. I'm going to save that and um, that will have been picked up automatically by jrebel and so if we click on this then you can see a little message actually that came up from Eclipse there and there's our new object and um, and that's kind of it really uh, well we can get a, there's a few more things to show I suppose. If you look at the uh, the console you can see various information about the class being reloaded and when the class is reloaded um, then our plugin um, rebuilds the both the ISIS meta model and also the JDO data nucleus meta model as well okay um, so actually yes I was going to say there is a, a, a thing we just to point out so if I just change this to name 3 um, okay so that's recompiled then if I instead were to do a list all rather than reselecting the page you can see we get an exception here and this is expected um, and is temporary um, because we're, things are out of whack there is no name 3 because we haven't yet rebuilt the meta model so it, but it's temporary if I just were to run the query again then uh, we can see the changes made and if I were to make one further change, in fact, here's, let's make a different change. What I'm going to do is introduce a new action here. So we'll just have an action called foo. Um, if I just click on the link, then you can see the new action appears. Oops, I think it takes a number, doesn't it? So, um, so there we go. Okay, so that's basically all there is to show. Um, if you saw the Maven uh, demo, which is similar, you can see this is obviously a little bit better because uh, there's not quite as many moving parts involved. And uh, also I could be running this thing within debug mode, which isn't something that you could do within Maven. Okay, but I hope that was useful for you. Um, do try it out.